Hey Sonny here. So I want to thank you for all of you to uh, watch my channel and uh, watch my videos and thank you for your support. Uh, today I'm going to do a lesson on The Fool Bug by Van Halen. Uh, Eddie Van Halen, uh, may he rest in peace, is a huge loss uh, in the music world and I'm sure you guys are all have heard or say or felt things, um, certain emotions and passions for what uh, Eddie Van Halen have done for you um, in your music musical journey. So he's a huge influence on me as well as thousands of uh, uh, guitarists, musicians uh, from my generation. So, uh, but we want to talk about the Fool Bug and the intro of the Fool Bug is not covered by anybody. I haven't seen anyone cover it. I've done the lesson for it yet. Usually the lessons are surround the the main riff right after the intro so you want to cover that uh it's a shovel feel to me that's the one of the most underrated song from the diver down album uh it's probably to me is the second fastest uh, uh shovel uh after i'm the one uh, i'm the one is the first one from the first album uh, which had a heavy fast furious shovel feel to it and to me the full bugs is the second one um and uh, that's as good as uh, I'm the one um, anyway so I'm gonna cover it in the song and the intro is in E major uh, E6 or if you will uh, surrounded by E major plus the uh, uh, the six uh, degree of the E major scale which is the C sharp note so I'm gonna go through that so let's get going <clears throat> all right so the full bug is based on an E major chord <laughs> Add six to it, which is a C sharp uh, four fret on the uh, A string. It's a C sharp. So the beginning part goes like this. All right, let's stop right there. Uh, the most important thing is to get the rhythm down. So it's basically two notes, it's open E string, and the second fret on the D string, which is also an E note, is like an octave higher. So you play those two notes together. First you play open E string, and then the second fret on the D string, and then uh, and then uh, open E, D2, open E again. And then back to the second fret on the D. Actually, the last part, the last D, play, we played it together with open E and the second fret on the D together. The next part, is, uh, we'll do this a lot, is open E string and a D2, open E string and D4, open E string and, uh, and then D5 with open E string together. It goes like this. And then fourth fret on the D, on the A string. And then third fret on the open E string, pull off the open string, and then uh, and then play the open E string again. So first part, second part, slow down. Sometimes I play the uh, fifth fret with the open E string together. Sometimes I don't play it, um, and you can hear it on the record. He sometimes Eddie does it too. Uh, uh, he'll play it together. Sometimes he doesn't. So the most important thing is to get the feel down, uh, and not necessarily to get all the notes right. Uh, well, you should get all the notes right, but you know what I mean. Uh, the open E string. Uh, playing along this uh, on the D string, this two four five fret on the D string, uh, it can just uh, vary. It varies. There's a there are variation of it. So first phrase again. And it ends on open E string, second fret on the E string together, second fret on the D string together. We're gonna play the whole thing again. So. So you basically play the last motif the same uh, again. Uh, 
Well, so the first two phrases together goes like this. The next phrase, the third phrase goes like this. <clears throat> uh, so we don't do the open E string, pull off. We just go. After you play the fourth fret on the A string, you play the uh, go straight to playing uh, open E string and second fret on the D string together, and it plays the open E string. That's the third phrase. And fourth phrase goes like this. First fret on the G string, open E D two. Open E D4, open E D5, 4th fret on the A, 3rd fret on the E string, pull off the open E, open E again. Alright, so the 3rd and 4th phrase again goes like this. And the 5th fret phrase goes like, fifth, fifth phrase goes like this. Basically, repeat what you did with the fourth phrase, a uh, little variation. Again, first fret on the G string, uh, second fret on the D, open E, second fret on the D, open E, D5, and they play open E and hammer on the fourth fret, second fret on the D, and then open E string. All right, so that's that's the fifth phrase. Um, so I'm gonna play through, through the whole thing so far together. The first five phrase. Next one goes like this. So you play the open E and second fret together on the D string, and then the pivot on the uh, D two, D four, and D five, and then fourth fret on the A string, second fret on the D. An open E string. That's the phrase six and phrase seven. Play again. So you play the second fret on the D. Open E and second fret on the D again. Open E and then uh, third fret on the E and then walk up the fourth fret and fifth fret. Play the third fret again on the E string, pull off, open E string, and it ends with the uh, open E and second fret on the uh, uh, D string. Okay, so again, that part goes like this. Well, let me play uh, phase six and seven again for you, okay. on the open E and second fret on the D string like I say and the next phrase you basically play the uh, 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 phrase 6 same thing okay but this time you play the open E string and second fret on the D together and then play the open E string one more time and uh, that was the phrase, phrase 8, which is similar to phrase 6, phrase 9. And then uh, open E string D2 together. Open E and D2. Open E, D4. Open E. And then 
knife threat on D&G &G together. That's when the uh, distortion comes in. So that's the whole thing, the intro. I'm going to play the whole thing slowly for you from the top. So that's the whole intro to the food bug. Hopefully you enjoy uh, this lesson. And uh, until next time, thank you for watching.